clap to our brother as he comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. If we do it in a cold way, we just tell the devil he has won over the week. Praise the Lord. But we do it in a warm way. We just tell the devil try again next week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to, before we sit down, I just want to, before I release even the praise and worship, I just want to ask uh, uh, even uh, the church to allow us to do this one more time. There is this song we were singing, All We Surrender to Jesus. I just want us to sing the chorus, All We Surrender to the Lord, because in form of surrender, that is where you come to the Lord and tell him, I've come the way I am. I have come with my own wisdom. I've come with my own knowledge. I've come with my own experience. I've done things in my own design. But but Father, when I'm here, it is not about me. It is about you. I want you to be paved in my life. That you are going to touch me. That you are going to minister to me. I just want us as a congregation. It is not about the one who is going to preach. It is not about you as the listener. It is all of us surrendering to the Lord to come and minister to our heart. Praise and worship. Let us just do this chorus once more. Surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all to Jesus. All to Jesus. spoken to the Lord but one moment just three seconds before God let us just surrender let us just tell God it is not about even the preacher it is not about that it is on a Sunday it is not about that I'm called in this whole setup called Christianity but I surrender unto the Lord I surrender unto you Jehovah let not my pride hinder me let not sin hinder me let no disappointment hinder me let nothing hinder me I just want to surrender I want to surrender I have been running away from grace. I've been trying to camouflage myself in salvation. But today I want to be in the surrender place. The surrender place where God can speak to me. Where surrender place where the Lord can touch my heart. The surrender place where my life will change. Jesus, thank you. Thank you this morning. Thank you this afternoon in a surrendered way. We surrender to you that you minister to us. Lord, it is not by our own design, neither by our own making or by our own effort, but because, Lord, of your love, you have allowed us to be here. God, since last year, the period of COVID-19, Lord, some of us, we have got sick, but you have still allowed us to stand strong and be here today. Therefore, God, Lord, we may be having no money in our pocket, but we ought to tell you, thank you, Jehovah God. And today, as you minister to us, this special word that we are here to stay, 
God, we are saying we are here to stay, O oh God. That nothing is going to separate us from the love of God. Amen. We thank you, Jesus, mighty God. We give you all the glory and we want to give you shouts of praise because you are awesome, because you are worthy, because we are not like you, Jehovah God. We thank God. Let us give a, a hand clap to the praise and worship if it takes a hand clap. have your seats I take this moment to bless the Lord to thank God for this opportunity a moment to be in the house of God a moment to even to stand before you I know we have great preachers in the house I know uh, Bishop uh, Bishop was not running out of energy to continue preaching but what a honor today uh, with the church leadership to allow me to stand before you and to bring the word of God uh, I just basically don't want to bring a story about myself my I will just give you my names my name is Alois Osano I bless the Lord because uh, he has allowed me to be a partaker of the grace of God through Christ Jesus uh, I want to go through the word of God that is in the book of Romans chapter number 8 uh, just take us to Romans chapter Chapter number eight. Romans chapter number eight from verse number thirty five. The word of God uh, says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword verse number 36 as it is written for your sake we are killed all day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter i just want to we go back to verse number 35 and this is what i want us to do i just want us to read together let us read together who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Hallelujah. Buona sifiwe. Buona sifiwe. The places I have preached. I always tell people it is good to make a difference between people in the mock and the people who are alive. Amen. It is good to confirm to yourself you are alive. This is the living word of God. I have read so many books and I am sto not stopping to read them. But the difference between the books that I've read, there is one book I was reading called The Outlier by Malcolm Gladwell. The difference between that book and this book, this is a living word. Praise the Lord. This is the only word that is living in history. So if you take the word of God casually, then your life will be casual. Amen? So allow me today to just make you uncomfortable. Hallelujah. Allow me today we preach this word together. We are going to preach this day together. Hallelujah. I'm not the only preacher in the house. We are preaching together. Amen. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Let us read together. Let us do it in a better way. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Let me bring some kachumbari in it. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall COVID-19? Shall you when you are broke? When your spouse says, I am no longer feeling love in the house. When you don't have a job. Who shall separate us from the love of God? And I introduce you our topic today. We are here to stay. We are here to stay. He may have tried it last year. He may have tried it last night. But we are here to stay. Just put it very well. I'm here to stay. Say to yourself, I'm here to stay. 
my goodness, if we preach like this, I think by 12.30 I will be not here because I'll be so much energy lost. But I want us we preach together. I'm here to stay. Confirm me to yourself. I'm here to stay. Because we have said, shall tribulation separate us from the love of Christ. Amen. And I want us to have just three things that we are going to look. We are going to look at one thing called sin, self-sabotage, discouragement, and pride. And I just want to touch uh, basically uh, things that relate with these scriptures. Then I will get into serious business. I will get into serious work. When we are talking about sin, I've looked at the life of David in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel. When I look at the life of David, I've looked at this particular day that David ought to go to war. But what happened? David decided, no, I will not go to war. Today it is a good time that I should rest. And while he was resting, because you know, 2 Samuel 12, 7, because you know when you are resting, when you are not working, there is something that needs to be working in your mind so long as you are alive. And the word of God says, and Nathan said to David, you are the man. That says the Lord, God of Israel, I anointed you king over Israel. I delivered you from the hand of Saul. And as you continue to read, this was the time David had had, had an affair with Bathsheba and planned even to just uh, uh, put uh, Uriah in the battle line in order for him to die. And it happened the way it happened. Second thing I want to look at self-sabotage. That is Luke chapter number 15 from verse number 11, 12, and 13. Self-sabotage. You remember the prodigal son. The prodigal son said to his father, Oh, give me a portion of my things. And he said, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of the goods that fall to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And you know what happened. He went there, squandered, things happened the way they happen. But before even I go to the other place of discouragement, you remember what happened. In the Jews' custom, these people don't, don't, uh, they don't, uh, uh, they don't have that respect for, for we, we, in our language we say pig, but in other language they say swine. So this young man, when he had done everything and so life was very bad, he decided I want to go back home because he found himself in the place of swine, the things that is despised in the culture of the Jews. And he said, let me have a conversation with myself and go home. That is self-sabotage. I just want to go to discouragement. That is John 18 uh, from verse number 18. So this is the particular moment after Jesus was crucified and uh, Peter had denied the Lord. And he decided, no, now because Jesus ha is dead, our hope is dead, uh, what I can do better it is to go back where I was. And you look at this place. I love this scripture says, Now the servant and the officers who had made a fire of coal stood there, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. Instead, Peter being in the battle line, not, not knowing what will happen, after denying Jesus three times, he decided, no, things are gone. Let me go back where I was and warm myself. And finally, there is pride. That one we'll tackle later. What do I mean with these subtopics? Where am I going? Where is the word of God taking us? Men are men, let me tell you. Human beings are human beings and they will not change. You know, when you, when you start having a relationship with the people, when you start having a relationship with the people, you realize sometimes in life, you get to know people. You start having expectation with them. You start, you start like knowing this is how so and so behaves. This is how he does his own things. But the trouble we normally have in life, the day they have what we call a relapse. Praise the Lord. The day they change, the day they make you like they surprise you. Buona sifiwe. Mwadhani agoshu. 
if you have a friend who you have been working with them in business you walk with them you walk with them till you reach a place and one day you say can you lend me some money kibahatimbaya with their mouth they say ona when you ko bire muno you have become such a beggar and the story changes and somebody you used to respect in christian faith you start despising them you start saying this person is not well with christ his words are not good but human beings are human beings they are going to frustrate you hallelujah and that's the reason christ came because christ is not changing what as if he were hallelujah Christ does not change you may be expecting people who are anointed they are doing well but when they have a relapse it is not for you to talk about it and Peter was discouraged and Peter was saying now they have taken my God now they have taken what I was holding on now Christ is dead there is nothing else what will I do Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah. I love when we were doing the Bible study in the book of John. And I love the two comparison we were making between John and Judas. You see, John, when, when, when you look at Peter, when you look at Peter himself, he saw, yes, I have denied Christ three times. There is nothing good in me. Nothing is happening. I've had a relapse. And he said, no, it's okay. Let me go back and do what I was doing. He had lost it. Praise the Lord might be today you are sitting in church today and you have been praying for your son you have been praying for your spouse you have been praying for your relatives and they have been giving you notices or signs that they are living that kind of life the life of sin and one day they have a relapse and they go back what do you do we are here to stay amen for he called us not to change he called us to be consistent bwana asifiwe he did not call you to be something else he called you to be consistent and he was discouraged and he said in the middle of crisis i will not run the same fire whatever is happening he found himself in the mix and finding himself in the mix he was trying to ask himself what will i do imagine praise the lord you just imagine i love to put the word of god in the present context imagine if in our days you are peter and jesus tells you before the cock crows three times you shall deny me i want to tell you the truth you that is seated there you will have told jesus the same words like peter I will not deny you. I would rather die. And even you are going to give some signs. Like the way Peter, when they came to arrest Jesus, he took his sword and he said, No, you will not take our master. That is when you are still full of vigor, the physical energy. But what happens when the inner man has no energy? When you can't pray anymore? When you are prayed for your sick relative and they pass on, what do you do? We are here to stay. This marriage is not ending. Our love for Christ is not changing. They may be possessing my car, but I'm saying I'm not changing. Amen. Amen. Because the devil, the devil is not after your car. Wo shaona shetani akiendesha gari. The devil is not after your house or your children. He want to make sure your peace is gone. And you lose your purpose in the kingdom. The devil was not for Peter to go and warm himself. He was, uh, he was looking for his peace. And after he got his peace, he started ministering to him. I always tell believers, the only person who does not need a congregation to preach to is the devil. He does, the devil will never be saying they are having a crusade. 
he only need an attentive mind. When the devil whispers to your heart, you have a reply today. We are here to stay. We are here to stay. Believers, we are here to stay. The economy may not be working, but we are here to stay. This is our constitution. They may be doing the BBI, but this we never have an amendment. This one we never change because our God is the same today, forever and ever. Amen? He is the same yesterday. He is the same today and forever. God is not changing. Who is in the house saying God is not changing? Just clap your hands and say to God, God, you are not changing today. And Peter said, let me go back. Let me go back and do fishing. He never realized when he was contemplating of the same and discouragement, Christ had already risen. Amen? And when Christ came, when you go to John 21, when Christ came, because he did not know Christ was risen, and he was there the whole night they were toiling, and they were trying to fish as nothing was happening, and they were so discouraged, Christ was still in the business. Amen? Amen? When you are so discouraged and the last energy you have is still to try and even confuse your life, Christ is still in the business. Christ is still working behind the scenes. Christ is still working behind the scenes. One as if you will. So many people we have interacted with, you know very well I love prayer. I love it kabisa. Amen? And I tell you there comes a time when in life you have prayed, you have done the speaking in tongues and nothing is happening. You need to tell the devil and you speak to him the language he understands. And the language he understands is the language of faith. Because when Christ was tried, he understood the word and he had something to say. Because we are here to stay. Amen. We are not changing. We are living in moments that you cannot even talk about. Yesterday, they, the other day they were saying, there will be a fourth wave of COVID-19. You need to say when they say that, there shall be a fourth wave of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Don't let the devil speak louder than your voice and your faith. Because when he speak louder, I'm telling you the truth, you will hear him. I want to open your eyes. Our body responds to sound. But our spirit responds to words. One as if you will. If, to, if, if Safari come have a road show and they pass by this place, you will not be listening to me. You will be listening to that sound. But if your spirit is here, you will disconnect very fast and come back here. One as if you will. So you are hurt. You are hurt even when you are discouraged. Even when you go back and have a relapse. A righteous man shall fall seven times. But he shall rise. Am I talking to someone who has ever fallen into sin? And he said, oh, I don't know if I'm still born again. I have come to tell you once again. You are still born again. Rise. Amen. 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 We are here to stay. This marriage is not ending. Here we are not giving up. He may have given me his best blow, but I'm telling you the truth. I am not giving up. There are friends of mine. I love I love wrestling a lot. And I don't watch wrestling because I'm of the world. I watch wrestling because of one thing. That the person you think that is beaten to death will still win the match. That is how I see my Christian faith. I may be wallowing in debts. I may be discouraged. But I'm telling you, I will give my best. 
I will wear that mask. I will look for that vaccine. But I will give my best. Amen. Because no discouragement. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Sometimes in your prayer when you are going through hard times and things are not working, you need to be your own preacher. You need to make an altar in your house and just become the best preacher of all time and preach to yourself. And say to yourself, I'm here to stay. And when David was resting after they had gone to battle second Samuel 12, David decided, today it is a good day that I may take an off day. And when he took an off day, the devil gave him a plan. When you take an off day from prayers, from fellowship, the devil will always give you a plan. I don't know how you will understand this, this word. The day you say, I am no longer, I don't feel to go to church today. The devil will always give you a plan B. Hallelujah. When you say, I will not serve God, the devil will always open a plan B for you. But I thank God because there is nothing that will separate us from the love of God. Even when you make a detour, the Lord will bring the world to swallow you like Jonah. Even when your children, they can no longer hear your ad voice, the Lord will, will bring a well. They will be swallowed and they will follow the purpose of the Lord. You only need to stand still. A small testimony. Back last year when we were closing and coming to 2021, and I was at home, my home village, and uh, my, uh, my mom had some issues with her health and we were praying and I told the Lord one, one night we were praying and I told them I want us tonight to pray seriously like we will never pray there before and because uh, we were together with my other siblings we decided we want to pray and we 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 prayed we prayed and uh, in the middle of prayer I remember the Lord gave me a conviction in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And when I was reading the word, I came to this portion where the Lord said, Stand still, for the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Amen? Let me tell you something. If you don't concentrate your mind in Christ, you will not receive even assurances. Hallelujah. And we prayed and prayed and prayed and it came a moment I just felt yes this battle for 2021 is not in my hands now it is in the hands of God. Even when you find yourself in plan B and you find yourself in sin my friend i tell you the truth don't wait for that moment when you are lost in darkness it is good to say to yourself father i have sinned and as a child of the kingdom i need to be back at home praise the lord i love the prodigal son because the prodigal son knew the prodigal son had one thing in his mind. There is home. There is home. Praise the Lord. He had lost. He had squandered his inheritance. He had done everything possible. He had sabotaged himself. But he had one conviction. There is home. And I will go back home. Praise the Lord. I love those guys who are lost in drunkardness. And let me give you a small testimony. Sometimes back, maybe you think I've been born again very well. The journey of salvation has been very well for me. There was one time I decided also, it is good to, to see what men are seeing there when there is a lot of noise and a brown bottle. And when I decided to do so, 
I remember one time when I did that and I sat and I drank that Wednesday. I remember it was on a Wednesday. And uh, I remember I started crying that afternoon. And everybody was telling me, it is so sweet that you are crying. Eh? And I s told them I'm hearing in my spirit a lot of guilt. Buana sifime. And I just told them, let me go back to my uh, hostel. Let me just go and sleep. And when I left and went and I slept, I vomited a lot. So when I vomited, so I had closed the door. And uh, after vomiting, because I had not, uh, it was somehow funny. I had finished fasting for three days. Then I had a relapse in drinking again. So I had not eaten for the three days. So, what I was puking or uh, vomiting was just water. So, I had closed the door. My friends, when they came in the evening, they asked, Now you are Lienda Wapi. But one of them said, Kunamaji natokea hapa. So, they were not knowing I had already blacked out and I was just on the floor. And no one came to my rescue. But I remember when my senses came, I told the Lord, God, no one sent me to drink and I think what I'm doing is not right and because there is a home I need to go back home and I wept and sobbed before God a lot and I told God God I just need you to give me strength and I need to overcome and I prayed I remember one of the guys who was uh, close to me, Daniel Karaoke, he came and found me praying. He did not interrupt and he went. The early morning on Thursday he came and said, Hey, yani ulikunyo ikakuonyesha uombe? Hey, tungependa hata sisi tunakunyo tunaomba kama wewe. They did not know the pain that was going in my heart. Praise the Lord. They did not understand that I was tired in the situation I was. Because I knew when I had given my life back to Jesus, when I gave my life to Jesus back in 1999, and this was 2009, God was still calling me back home. What if I did not hear that call? Could I be preaching today? Could I be here? The Lord has been calling us when we are fallen into sin, but we are not responding. In the month of March, when I was preaching here, when we had the other lockdown, I preached a word that God is still speaking today. And I tell you the truth, God is calling your heart, but you cannot hear. And I normally tell brethren that I have realized, and in quotes, the, the problem with our God you will never go to class 2 till you pass the exam of class 1 praise the Lord till you qualify I normally tell God God I think you are the author of the accountancy course CPA till you pass level 1 you cannot go to level 2 praise the Lord till you graduate to another level you cannot you cannot walk with God and David, after he had sinned, after all, he tried to conceal his sin. And I love one word in Psalms. He says, if I regard wickedness in my heart, God will not hear me. Praise the Lord. If you know regarding sin is where you feel comfortable in that place. Praise the Lord. Other people think sin is drinking, is prostitution. But I tell you, even unforgiveness is sin. When you just look that person and say, I will not forgive you. Who are you and you are forgiven? Praise the Lord. Who are you to tell us I will not forgive? And Jesus Christ gave himself for you. Sometimes believers, let us just... Let us just do a thorough investigation in our life. Somebody gave their body for us in order to be counted as children in the kingdom. 
I want to tell you my brother today you could not be counted as a son in the kingdom if Jesus never died on the cross if Jesus said no to the cross if Jesus behaved the way we behave we could not be celebrating salvation Bwana asifiwe let me use we know I know we have kikuyu service korwo jesu aikaraga ore to ikaraga tutigere hari atori praise the lord let me hear a good amen if Jesus behaved the way you behave we could not be having salvation you refuse to forgive you have bitterness others some of us we have attitude when somebody corrects you you have even a fight with them i love david david had brought his whole attitude second samuel 12 from 7 he brought his whole attitude and he started saying that man need to pay seven times that man need to be punished praise the lord he he had already instituted a judgment over this case how many times do you do prosecution and you do judgment when you are given a story when i come and i tell you let me use this example i have found one member of the youth drunk what are your first reactions praise the lord do you start prosecuting the case? Do you start making judgments? This is what David did. He had an attitude. He started saying this person need to pay seven times. But Nathan told him, you are the man. And David never brought the attitude again. He said, I surrender. I surrender all to Jesus. And this is the word today. After the Lord tells you we are here to stay. And you have been discouraged. And you are no longer praying. You are no longer seeking the Lord. Surrender to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God never called us that things should be well. But he called us even through fire. He shall walk with us. Praise the Lord. You have not heard what I have said. The Lord did not call you things will be better all the time. But he told you even through fire, he shall walk with you. Praise the Lord. How many friends do you have who gives you an assurance that through fire they will walk with you? Praise the Lord. I love that slogan of Jubilee. I don't know people if you see sermons every day. When Jubilee began to go pamoja. But today are we pamoja? Are we pamoja? And even people who are not even in church. They were there to go pamoja. Why? God never changes. When the Lord tells you to go pamoja. He is with you to the end. Praise the Lord. And I love the words of Paul. And Paul said to be present in this body needs to be absent with the Lord. To be absent in this body needs to be present with the Lord. He understood nothing is changing. The equation is the Lord being with the Lord. And that's why I brought you a new equation today. We are here to stay. Praise the Lord. We have already done discouragement and sin. We have already done self-sabotage. And I want to get to another peak of the message. And I want us to bring ourselves to a very thorough, thorough investigation in our heart. You remember in the month of around March, around February when Bishop preached the word about pride and he took us through various lessons but one thing that kept ringing in my heart is when I looked at that message of Luke chapter number 15 and I told God this message has been preached over years and years but there is something else in it that God I need to see. And there is one moment I love about the prodigal son. 
he came to that moment he he said even against our customs where i am is not the place i'm supposed to be bwana asifiwe praise the lord praise the lord sometimes as a believer you need to know who you are and after knowing who you are you need to confirm it to yourself praise the lord i want to speak to someone who has been applying for jobs sometimes you need to just stand still and say the people of the lord are not jobless and the best employer of all time is the lord one thing i love about our god his pension is well paid his nhif he does not lie to you his nssf is well kept the lord god is the best employer praise the lord if the lord hires you today i tell you the truth he will never delay to give you your salary hebrews chapter 15 the word of god says that let your labor your labor is not in vain praise the lord it is not in vain let me ask you brethren my dear brothers my best friends in christ have you ever found someone who tells you whatever you are doing he shall pay you when we go to harambees let me tell you they tell us give for this cause and that is over but come here the lord tells you give and it shall be given to you shaken together pressed down running over see the assurances of god brethren have we tried god enough living in him consistently persistently till we say it things are working but our trouble is one we are in god today sunday from tomorrow we are back fishing and warming ourselves and on sunday morning we shall collect our god and bring him back you have come to church this sunday in order for you to have a good deposit for you are next week amen from monday you shall be feeding on your deposit today so if you don't deposit very well today from tomorrow monday there will be no withdrawal praise the lord hallelujah have you ever gone to an atm expecting maybe there is money after putting that card there you key in your pin and they tell you era 116 insufficient funds they are telling you there are no deposits for you to withdraw in the kingdom of god there are times for depositing and there are times for withdrawing but because of pride we will not deposit one aspect of pride is where people don't want to worship the lord i remember when we were doing the praise and worship there came a moment and we were saying worship god for who he is not for the things he have done for you not for the things that he will do but worship him for who he is period bwana asifiwe i want us to transform ourselves to renew our mind as believers because we are here to stay our life need to change and change forever bwana asifiwe praise the lord Let me use a very good example. Wherever you live today, if for example for those who have rented, if the landlord came today and told you from now henceforth you will no longer pay rent, this is your place forever. What will you do? And you have your own compound. What will you do? Let us let us have a conversation. What will you do? You start planting skuma wiki if it is a big compound you bring some cows you will bring some chicken you will feed you will just do some things that are telling you i will not i will not leave this place praise the lord 
Hallelujah. For those who are living in their own premises, the way you use that compound, you use it the way you own it. Praise the Lord. Now let me bring the point home. Now if we are in Christ and we are not living and we will not live, we are here to stay. How are we supposed to behave? We are not supposed to behave like people who are living Christ tomorrow. And I want to conclude with one aspect. Prayer, pride will hinder you from worship. It will hinder you from prayerlessness. It will hinder you from so many things. And today I just want us to take two keys that will open our lives as we continue to stay here. And one key I want us to take is the key called prayer. And the second key is called consistency. Praise the Lord. Buona sifiwe. Hallelujah. What is this that people can talk about you that is consistent? Hallelujah. What is this that I can talk about you 10 years since I met you? Buona sifiwe. Praise the Lord. You know, let me, let me tell you something that is consistent with me. I'm dark. You never find me, I'm brown. Buona sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just giving you that. Now, what is that that is consistent in your spirit that will never change forever? If you are a man of prayer, be consistent. Remember Daniel chapter 6. Three times a day in Babylon, Daniel was still praying. We are not consistent enough with our God. When things are so bad, Bishop, I need prayers. Pastor Lucas, can we meet in church? Things are bad. But when there is salary increment, today we are having birthday of my aunt, we are going there. I have not said we should not go for birthdays, but it's what is consistent with us in Christ. I assure you, today when you leave that door, your life will never be the same again. And when your things go and change there, be consistent in Christ. If your income doubles up, even you are giving, let it double. Praise the Lord. Let this equation with God go parallel with each other. Let us not be left behind serving the Lord. You may not be having energy to do evangelism or be there in the crusade, but let your pocket go to do evangelism. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is something you can give in the house of God. We have not reduced the message of Christ to only money. We have, we have to know there is something you can give in the house of God. We need to be consistent. Somebody who is consistent is somebody who has character. Somebody who we can know where to find him at what time. Praise the Lord. If you are a man of prayer, they know you at this very hour. They will find you in prayer. But if you are not consistent, I can, God, can, you can miss your appointment because you are not consistent. Praise the Lord. Another key that opens our life is prayer. As we are in this Life to stay in Christ. Prayer is non-negotiable. And Jesus, when he was about to go and be crucified, he decided to ascend to Gethsemane and pray. And when he had gone afar off, he left his disciples and prayed. But when he came back, he found the disciples asleep and he asked them, could you have not watched with me even for one hour? You got born again 20 years ago and prayers are still five minutes. What is this consistent about you? 
Praise the Lord. Brothers, let me tell you, things are changing. And I'm telling you the truth, things are changing. When was the last time we had a Kesha? Back then, 2019. Praise the Lord. And we are in 2021. Nothing is permanent. The things of the world are changing. But if you are not consistent holding to God, your foundations will be shaken and I will never find you in the house of God. Prayer. Prayer gives you revelation and direction. If you need direction, you need to be walking with God. I love David after he was told by Nathan what had happened over his life. He went back to prayer. I love Peter after he had denied Jesus and Jesus appeared in John 21 and Jesus asked him, do you love me? Three times Peter went back in prayer. The good thing about godly sorrow, it transforms you to become better. Praise the Lord. I don't know how you will leave this house today. I don't know if you will leave this house saying that young man has preached very well and let me tell you, you are no longer changed. Praise the Lord. If I have preached well and I have blessed you, glory to God. Hallelujah. But I would desire that our lives to be in a better way. Amen. I want to conclude finally by the last thing in prayers. When you look prayer, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he told them, our Father who art in heaven. Let us say together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let us pause there. Our Father who art in heaven, he had already given them an address who they are supposed to address. Praise the Lord. He had told them, you are talking to your Father. You are not just talking to anyone else. Imagine, imagine, let us conclude with this. Imagine you going to those who their fathers are still alive. And even when you remember about your father, last, some two weeks ago, we were celebrating Father's Day. When you go to your father, you don't go hiding. You don't go ashamed. Look at the prodigal son. He said, let me go back home. He never came saying, he came knowing where he was going. Praise the Lord. He came to his father. Our father who art in heaven. That is the address. Hallowed be thy name. Uplifting the name of God. Worshipping God. Even my brother. When you are so discouraged sometimes. And you are in prayer. Just be open to God and tell him. Father I am not able to pray. Things are so overwhelming. I am not able even to seek you. But Lord, I refuse to be silent. Just hear me. Be consistent. Praise the Lord. And I heard one preacher saying, a good preacher should make sure he does not preach for long in order not to be denied another chance. Let us meet in our Kikuyu service. Pastor Jeff, thank you so much. You can appreciate God in a better way. Let's stand and conclude the service in the name of Jesus. Just want you to I don't want, I want to give you one minute so that you Connect yourself with this word in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not be among those who give up. You see, we, we are told winners never quit and quitters never win. And what you are talking about here is that I, there is nothing, whatever I go through, Whatever I face, 
not even my friends, not even my enemies that will separate me from the, from the love of God. I just want you to talk to God this, uh, uh, this morning. T t t just tell God to help you in the name of Jesus Christ that every day as you face circumstances and situations that God will hold your hand you will not give up in the name of Jesus Christ they may force you into into in, 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 into oppression they may force you into suffering they may force you into even uh, uh, trying to disregard your God but God will hold you and I will not give up in the name of Jesus Christ I shall stand by the truth of the word of God I shall continue to serve God I will remain under the love of God I will follow even his word in the name of Jesus Christ not even any situation that will that will snatch me from the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ Father we thank you tonight this afternoon we thank you oh God for your word King of glory that God Almighty you are assuring us, Jehovah, that God, you're with us. Help us, King of glory, Father, to know that every day, Jehovah, you are with us. Every moment, King of glory, when we believe in you, when we trust in you, King of kings, you are with us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand against every spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Jehovah, God, that King of glory, your people shall have their spirits, their faith lifted, all gone to face every circumstance in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God they shall win, they shall be victorious because there is your promise that in you, Jehovah, we are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, and honor your name, Jehovah. We thank you, King of glory. I just want to ask you to stretch your hands upon our brother Alois even for standing in, in the presence of God to bring the word of God. May God continue to empower him, to strengthen him. May God fight for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, Jehovah, that God shall fight for your servant. My God shall continue, Jehovah, even to lift him, my gun, to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that God, that is life, Jehovah, shall have light in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as he continues to even uh, to submit to you and to serve you, Jehovah, the Lord shall continue to empower him in the name of Jesus Christ, and he shall fight and win against every oppression, against every discouragement in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, and honor your name because your might and there is none like you. I want us to give in the house of God. Uh, I want you to connect yourself with the word of God and bring an offering to the, to the altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is time to give. Amen. It is time to give. Amen. Amen. You know we rejoice when, when it is time to give because it is not a time, it is not a time to lose it is a time to receive. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody just go to your pocket and get something. Or to your wallet or to your, or to your, to your phone or to your bank account. The, however you do it, praise the name of the Lord. And I know God is going to do something in Jesus name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and honor your name. We thank you Jehovah God because it is your command that God we come we approach my father your altar with thanksgiving in our hearts. Oh God, Father, I pray King of glory 
that as your people bring their tithes and their offerings, O oh God, and their thanksgiving offerings, Jehovah, and whatever offering they are bringing to you, God shall remember them. May you meet them, Jehovah God, at the point of their needs, O oh God. May you rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift their standards, O oh God. Fight for them, my God, in their, in their shamas, in their farms. Fight for them in their businesses, O oh God. Fight for them, King of glory in their employment oh God in their jobs in the name of Jesus Christ lift them oh God I pray Jehovah that this house oh God it shall also continue to grow even in matters finance in the name of Jesus Christ and your name shall be glorified oh God we thank you Jehovah and we honor your name because your might and there is none like you be exalted oh God and be glorified in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. Celebrate God Almighty, the God, the God of the, who blesses us as we give in Jesus' name. Bring your offering.